oh my goodness i'm so excited simply because my lighting is so beautiful like i just had to retake a whole 12 minutes of a video <laughs> So anyways, I am Pulusongani Burani and I am known as Sebujwa or majority of the people know me as Nkanyezi, you can choose between the two, depending on where I met you. Yeah, there's a professional and a non-professional, but on a stage name basis, Zibujwa. And welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be answering a couple of questions about myself, about things that I do. And just to summarize, I'm just going to keep it really sweet and short because I already had like a retake and yeah, I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay. So anyway, what do I do when I wake up in the morning? So the most important thing is to sip a drink of water. A drink. Okay. You can decide. Is it tea? Is it water? Is it warm water? Is it cold? But I've been doing my research and it's good to actually have a glass of warm water lukewarm not to lose weight just to clear your toxins and from the night before or whatever that you ate it cleans up your intestines and you get to be hydrated for the rest of the day all right second questions i'm not counting is this my natural voice yes it is i am not sick i don't drink a lot to have this voice i've had it for a very long time and people keep questioning me well growing up in high school i used to have people ask me whoa your voice and i'm like what's up and they're like yo it's so husky it's so sexy and i'm just like oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> and to be quite honest i didn't even realize my voice is husky i didn't realize a lot of stuff until people actually brought it to my attention like singing i didn't know i could sing guys like i did not know until my friends encouraged me and they were like, dude, you can sing. And I'm like, really? And I actually sang, sang, sang until I got to church and I started singing. And it was a whole thing. I officialized it. I was in the worship. Well, was becoming worship team. And I would lead the worship, praise and worship when it was youth or whenever we needed to lead it. I would lead it. And gladly because I was praising God. Because I love him so much. Like, ain't nobody can take his face. Type of love him so much. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. So, what do I do now? Hmm. I work. I'm a concierge shopper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not going to say the company name. Because I'm not doing some marketing stunt for anybody. And not getting paid for it. I'm not stupid. Or neither am I naive. <laughs> Mm, i'm not joking <laughs> i want to be paid for my marketing anyways and yeah so what i do i just hand pick products i pay for it it's already prepaid by the time it comes to me on an app on the app it's not what you're thinking yeah i hope it is what you're thinking though yeah and yeah that's like the worst best part of my days because at least i'm getting paid and i'm making a living out of it and yeah what else have i ever had a pet yes i have i've adopted two pets different years i was three if not two the first time i adopted one and then it was killed like it was a hit and run it was so deep guys my caretaker like seriously dude <laughs> that is my bestie what you doing you know and she passed on me she rest in peace she was going to check out a person yeah it's really deep guys <laughs> my, my parents don't even know this i think i told them and she was there was a tennis court like right across my house and imagine so I would walk like she would literally take me out for walks and then i just stand there stand around so the guy was taking care of the actual tennis court yeah that was our playground like our little park and then yeah on our way out we just literally got across the street because this car was coming in full speed i thought i closed the gate i think she didn't she was the last person to go out i'm young young like what's going on and then boom my dog was following us and we didn't realize boom it was dead i looked back and it was yeah the end of the story <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's the first death I actually experienced in my whole entire life. At three, that's daunting. Whoever that is, God bless them. <laughs> anyway, second dog I adopted was 2021 in August. And his name is Joey. So same thing, but different ages. Because I'm more naive and I'm more educated. And educated meaning I know more about life, how to take care of somebody, how to take care of babies, because I'm an, I'm an aunt to my cousin's children. And it's it wasn't that easy because I had to grow up really quickly from 12 years old. I think my oldest is that age. Imagine they would piss on me and today they can disrespect me. Like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? My eldest, actually disgusting trust me i may be smiling but i'm crying inside <laughs> and another thing do i have children no i don't don't have kids well not yet i would love to have some maybe we'll see how that has been but i wouldn't mind having children of my own another question mm, what's the one thing that people want to know about you so in our South African culture, we say Udumengani. Well, I like answering saying Udumengi Feshin, Nimpasha Mobuse. Yeah, Ula, you know, that's my Udumeng. <laughs> that's what I'm popular for. My singing, well, around my hood. I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call it a hood, but it's a hood. It's a Sabbath Kasi, but it's a hood. Okay? Yeah, we just keep a hood like that. Mm hmm. And yeah, so everybody apparently knows me for my vocal ranges. Um, yeah, I haven't posted any music, so it's really weird for me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it is what it is. And then another thing, I love clothing. Well, I have different hoods, to be quite honest with you. If I've lived there for more than two years, then that's my hood. So yeah, I'm known for different things. Cooking, singing, fashion those are well music let's just draw it down to centralized so these were my passions when i left matric and i had to quickly literally make a choice as to what am i gonna do in the future i'm still doing all three but i couldn't have done all three if i had a, i hadn't had parents like i had who actually took the time to take me to different places why didn't i become a chef i'm not a chef today i did business admin and that's the best choice i've ever done it was supposed to have fashion inside but i believe god had his other plans and now i can manage any business literally any field i can go anywhere and i'm not limited which is honestly the best thing that has ever happened to me not really god is the best <laughs> because without him literally you can't go anywhere okay yeah don't judge me that's just who i am anywho i'm blabbering a lot next question why didn't i choose cooking so cooking i can cook at home i don't have to pay loads of money to go study how to make a cute little dish that nobody will buy unless if they're stunting so yeah okay i'm joking but to be quite honest i i want to do my nails I want to put on my makeup, I want to have my wig on, I want to have my fashion on, I don't want to be in uniform like I'm crazy. Where I work, I wear uniform, but it doesn't limit me to not having makeup, nails, you know what I mean, I do heavy lifting, and that's the worst, best part of what I do. So yeah, so thank you so much for tuning back on, I know it's been a while, don't forget to do your yoga. I'm still doing mine. We're still growing spiritually. Don't forget to read your Bible. Interact with God in every way possible, guys. He says, come as you are. He doesn't judge you. If you want to have piercings, do it. If you want to have tattoos, that's up to you. But read the Bible. Whether it is old or new, I believe it. it's there. It's a living word. You know what I mean? Just feed yourself. It's, it just says, praise in the morning, praise in the day. Um, praise in the night. You just never know which one is going to save you. That's why I just keep spewing God like this. How do I know? How could I possibly know what I'm being saved from? You know? Don't even know. So just keep praying. And we are not fighting humans. We're fighting the spirit.
keep that in mind it's not easy sometimes i get really needy i get really grumpy i get really excited happy you name it but most importantly i'm grateful to be alive and i hope you are thank you so much i'm so grateful you tuned back on until this far till the end i'll see you on my next video thank you so much Bye. your girl deeply just signing off